Have you tried setting up your home Xbox in order to enable Xbox Game Share, but you still have some questions? Well, in today's video, I'm going to answer some of your questions that you've been leaving in the comments below regarding how to set up the Xbox Game Share properly. Welcome back everybody and my name is Wayne. Thank you so much for being here. I make videos just like this one in order to help you get the most out of your gaming. Now, as I mentioned before, what I'm going to cover today are some of the questions that you have been asking in the comments below on a couple of my previous Xbox Game Share videos. And I want to make sure that you guys are able to get that working and get the most out of your gaming that we can. And now for that, I'm going to assume that you're already familiar with Xbox Game Share and what it is, but if for some reason you're not actually familiar, then make sure you check out this video right here where I go over what Game Share even is and then also how you set that up. Okay, and so if you believe you've already done these steps properly, uh, one of the comments we had was somebody coming in asking, you know, hey, what's going on? This isn't working right. Uh, about 15, 20 minutes later, he went back and checked again and found out that it actually did go through, but for whatever reasons, Microsoft and Xbox, you know, they had to have some time in order to get all of it set up properly. So the first thing you might want to do is just give it a little patience and make sure that everything uh, does go through for you if you're 100% certain that all of the steps were done correctly. Okay, and so now that you've given that some time, go back and double check, make sure that it's working properly, and hopefully that's all it was that you needed to do. So another common question I've been getting in the comments is which console does the home Xbox setting need to go on? And I think the best way at this point to really explain this and kind of dive in is to just give you an example. If you have a friend that wants to share with you, you're going to take his or her account and you're going to put that onto your console and then make it the home Xbox console from your friend's gamer tag. So that means any digital games that he or she is sharing, the Xbox Live, Ultimate, the Game Pass, all of those things, anything that they're sharing will come over to your Xbox console. Now, the other way around, if you wanna share with someone else, you will put your gamer tag onto their console and set it as the home Xbox, and then all of your uh, games, Xbox Live and such, will be shared on their console. And so naturally, that's going to lead us to another question of whether you can play the games at the same time when you've set up Xbox Game Share properly and the answer to that is going to be yes. You should be able to play the same games at the same time on the different consoles. Oh, hey, if you're getting value out of this video, make sure you hit that like button. Thank you. All right, so another question that I've been getting often in the comments is how many people can you share with or how many consoles can you share with? And the answer to that is unfortunately you can only share with one other console if you're trying to make it your home Xbox. However, if you're a very lucky person, you could technically have multiple people put their home Xbox on your console. Uh, and so what I mean by that is if you have two or three friends um, who want to share their games with you so that you can play with them, you technically could have a couple um, put their home Xbox on your console. It just doesn't work the other way around. You can't take your one single console and then put it across two or three more other consoles as well. Now you might be asking yourself, what if I remove my gamer tag? Will that also remove the Xbox game share? So maybe you want to share with them, but you want to make sure that they're not going to play on your gamer tag. And so you want to remove that and you were a little worried that it might remove the game sharing capabilities. You don't have to be worried. Those will still be on there as long as you don't remove your Xbox home setting from that other console that you're sharing with. However, if you did remove your home Xbox setting from the console, uh, that would remove any access to the game sharing, Xbox Live sharing, and those features that comes with setting the home Xbox. And if you're kind of wondering how do I even remove my home Xbox, then make sure you check out this video right here where I show you how to remove your home Xbox setting from the other consoles. And with that, it's time to remove myself from this video. But before I do, I want to say thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.